gentlemen, this is six round international lightweight contest. Introducing two of you, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the white trunks and the blue and red, and weighing in the ten stone and the quarter of a pound. Another fight rebel six wings, one inside the ship with this concern, fighting kicks. Coming from Russia, please welcome Rosalind Nazifull. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the blue trunks, blue with white and red, and iron stone, tall pounds. 45 12 inside the ship of distance and two losses. He's from old and finding out a shattered skin fighting pit with Thank you for having the bell, Barry Pinder, a referee in charge of the action. This is Keith Garner and this is six three minute rounds. And this is Nick Halling along with Spencer Oliver at ringside. Spencer, on paper, it looks a terrific night's boxing ahead, doesn't it? A couple of real good title fights to come. Yeah, we're really looking forward to the night's boxing, and this one as well should be a good contest. Well, the local man, Gary Hibbert from Oldham, is in the blue with the white trim. The, um, the Russian from St. Petersburg in the solid white, Rosalind Nazibulin, is becoming a frequent visitor to these shores. He was here earlier this month, took on Glenn McClarnan, lost on points at Wembley, looked pretty useful. Yeah, put up a good fight against Glenn McClarnan. Southpaw, started well with that left hand, caught Hibbit a couple of times through the middle. But really, Hibbert, if he continues to harbour hopes of uh, fighting for titles, and he certainly does, this is a fellow he's got to get rid of, but the Russian will certainly give him a good workout on the evidence of what we saw against McLaren. And he's certainly taken the early initiative here. The Russian just pushing forward, not waiting for Hibbert, Hibbert waiting a little too long. Again, getting through with that left hand again. Good work from the Russian, this, and Hibbert making a very tentative start here. I'm surprised by this, Spencer. Well, Nazar Bolin looking like he's come to do business here. Started very well in deal. Pushing out that southpaw. Right hand getting through with that left. And Hibbit spending far too much time just waiting for the counters. Well, there's that old saying, isn't there, that boxers don't like fighting southpaws. And, you know, maybe Hibbert's having a bit of a problem here with that. I don't Again, believe good. he's faced a southpaw before, looking at his record, Spencer. You know, maybe that's uh, part of the problem. Well, he hasn't faced too many. I'm sure he would have faced some in the amateurs. He was a very good amateur. Boxed for England on a number of occasions. Good left from the Russian. He's an awkward fella, Nazibulin. Only turned pro a couple of years ago, but has been really busy this calendar year this is his fifth sixth fight in fact of 2001 good shot again that's better work from Hibbert driving that long left up showing a lot of respect for his opponent. He yeah, just started off taking too long, waiting to counter punch Nazabulin, but Nazabulin was doing the right thing, pushing out that long left, getting through with success. Well, not the best three minutes of uh, Gary Hibbert's pro career by a long way. Well, Hibbert, for me, losing that round, Nazabulin was the one leading off first, getting through with those good left crosses. And Hibbert really looking confused. Didn't know how to handle the style of Nazabulin. Well, the adjustment's getting made in the corner. As we can see, 
from that replay right there. And that's a bull in his landing the better shots, and that was a decent right hand from Hibbert. Nazabulin having most of the success. Again, from another angle, we see that right hand from Hibbert. There's the right hand, nice right hand through the middle. That's a key punch to a southpaw, leading off with the right hand. So, round two, what can Hibbert show us this time? After that very slow start, Hibbert bounced, bouncing back well after a couple of uh, setbacks. He was outpointed by Frank Benoni, the Belgian. That was in Manchester. It was a hotly disputed. It looked a very, very questionable call, that one back in February. Then four months later, he lost on points to Alan Temple in Temple's backyard. And uh, Hibbert felt then that he was uh, done by a hometown decision. But he's bounced back from that with a couple of victories, both of them inside the distance. They've rebuilt his confidence, certainly. He has bounced back well from those, but really looking to get up into the title picture now. They've not been very active in his pro career. Well, like so many club fighters, he can't make a full-time living from boxing, and Hibbert is a carpet fitter in his native Oldham. This is a better start to the round from Hibbert, just starting to get success with his own right hand. Bulin still there and still offering plenty of resistance and still providing this awkward target. You know, Nazabulin's had 11 contests, only won six, lost five. But he's much better than his record Absolutely, would suggest. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, he's one of those travelling guys, isn't he? He goes all over the place. see Hibbert step the work rate up a little bit though uh, Spencer here I mean this is only a six rounder he's got to get on to uh, top form Nazabulin again getting through some good shots Hibbert spending too much time waiting to counter Nazabulin Hibbert needs to start leading off first himself and putting those shots together in threes and fours oh that was a good straight right which is the shot you were advising and he caught Nazabulin with that one. Russian's blown quite hard. I mean, that just might be his style thing. We saw him do this against McLaren, and it didn't seem to bother him at all. But he sounds terrible, doesn't he? He really is breathing heavy. He's sitting here at ringside. You really can hear this. Yeah. Breaks the back. As you said, it may just be his style. We saw him against McLaren and really pushed him. Yeah, he did. Now Hibbert's starting to do the pushing here in the last seconds of this second round. Well, much better round four here, but getting successful Good right with the right cut. hand. As you rightly said, that right uppercut going right through the middle. And the right scoring again, and he's starting to open the man up a bit now. Still Hibbert uh, struggling to subdue him, though. The Russian is very much in this fight. Well, I give the rush in the first round, but Hibbert doing the cleaner work in that round, finding success with that right hand. It's like to see him follow up now with the left hook and right hand again, start putting the shots together. But a much better round for Hibbert. Listen, you can't miss you with that round, obviously, can you? Right through the middle. But when you throw your right hand, you've got to come over with your left hook. No single shot for this kid. Well, isn't that what you were just saying, Spencer? That's exactly <laughs> what he's got to do. He can't leave it at the single shots. He's getting through, making the openings. As we'll see here, that right hand through the middle, he was wide open there for the left hook afterwards, but just didn't throw the shot. That's what I was talking about. Needs to put them together in threes and fours. But a much better round for Gary Hibbert. Starting to find that range. There's that left hook coming over and catches him with it as well. Well, he's a durable sort, this Russian. He's only been stopped once. That was by another Russian, Sian Sanchat, back in uh, last October, just over a year ago. Sanchat has gone on to win the Russian lightweight title since then, so uh, he's clearly no mug. But clearly, Hibbert is going to have to work hard against this fellow because McClellan never really put him in any trouble over their six rounds either. No, he put up a good fight against McClellan. McClellan was always in control, but he did put up a good contest. Hibbert looks like he could take control here. Again with that right hand through the middle. Can't miss with that shot. But just needs to follow it up. 
Nice work from Hibbert. First of the punch on that occasion with the left. Still has a Boolin dancing around and blowing and puffing and looking yeah. to catch him on the counter. Heads just coming dangerously close together there. Hibbert, the one copying that in the face. Not a punch of the Russian, Spence. You look at his record, just the one stoppage. Yeah, he doesn't seem like a puncher. More an awkward type fighter, difficult to work out. Seems fairly easy to hit. And Hibbert really needs to pick the work rate up some more. Throwing far, wasting far too much time. Throwing the single shots. Again yeah. with the single right hand. And you would think Hibbert had learnt his lesson over those two losses when he felt he was robbed both times. You never want to leave it in doubt, do you? You never want to leave it oh, in doubt. Oh, that, that, that is the way to erase any doubts. Well, and that's a bullet looking in serious trouble here. He's doing well to beat this count. A man that's only been stopped once. He's all over the place and it's waved off and quite rightly so. What a shot. Well, that was a perfect right hand through the middle, the perfect shot for a southpaw. And Nazafulin really not looking like he was going to beat that count as soon as he went over. You can see the eyes were very glazed, and that's an excellent win for Gary Hibbert. It certainly is. After a slow start, he really came on strong. Well, that really was the victory he needed. That would boost Hibbert's confidence. No end. Absolutely, and no question that the referee got that one spot on because Nazabulin, although he was up at eight, didn't know where he was, did he? And his legs were doing that little dance. Yeah, he got up, but he was from very unsteady legs, didn't know where he was, started walking towards his corner. Just as we were talking about erasing doubts, bang, he finds that big right hand. And that is just the victory Gary Hewitt needed. And now moves him further up those British rankings. They look forward to a title fight maybe early next year sometime. But that was an excellent shot. Straight on the side of the face and Nazapulin, who's normally a durable person. Yes, absolutely. But as you say, that just, that took him out totally. Perfect right hand straight through the middle. Lovely shot. And the no normally durable Nazabulin was never going to beat that and still looking very shook up by yes, that. Absolutely, yes. I mean, you can see there that he's not right. He's still looking pretty shaky right now, isn't he? You know, a full minute, minute and a half afterwards. He can smile. Timekeeper Barry Pinder has recorded the time of one minute and 52 seconds of the third round. Referee Keith Garner has stopped the contest. Nazibulin in no position to continue. Your winner from Odom and Shannon's gym fighting fit Gary Hibbard so a win and for one local man we'll see another local man Russia. after the breakers Manchester's Michael Brody clashes with the American Sean Fletcher